Hello, everyone. I am Wen Hao from Tsinghua University. Today, I will introduce our work in FinFS, an efficient meta service for large scale distributed file systems. This is a joint work with Yu Yu, Yi Mi, Pei Le, and Professor Ji Wu Shu. I will start from the background and the motivation. Modern data centers often contain a huge number of files. For example, Facebook manages billions of files with the tectonic file system. At the present, Alibaba Cloud contains up to tens of billions of files through nearly thousands of Pangu file systems. However, one single large-scale file system spanning the entire data center is more desirable because it provides global data sharing, high resource utilization, and a low operational complexity. Managing such huge number of files in one single file system brings severe challenges to the metadata service. As shown in the right figure, the file system typically provides users a directory tree to store their data. The directory tree contains metadata of files and directories and manages them in a hierarchical namespace. Applications rely on metadata operations to manage and access their data. Each metadata operation typically involves two critical steps, the path resolution and the metadata processing. For example, when a user creates a new file on the directory C, first, the file system executes path resolution to traverse the directory tree and check whether the user has proper permissions on all internal directories. Then the file system executes metadata processing to update associated metadata objects atomically. Here, we identify three challenges to design an efficient metadata service for large-scale scenarios. The first challenge is the partitioning of the directory tree. We find that existing partitioning strategies fails to achieve high metadata locality and good load balancing at the same time. Some file systems adopt a cost grinding partitioning, such as HDFS Federation and SafeFS. As shown in the figure, they partition the directory tree into several continuous subtrees. Each subtree is managed by one metadata server. When creating a file, only one metadata server is involved to lock the directory and update associated metadata objects. Therefore, such cost grinded partitioning achieves high metadata locality. However, it is susceptible to skilled workloads, leading to the load imbalance. Some file systems adopt a fine grinded partitioning, such as HOPSFS and IndexFS. As shown in the right figure, they partition the directory tree into small pro-directory groups. These small groups are then hashed to different metadata servers, achieving good load balancing. However, when creating a file, coordinations across two servers are required to update associated metadata atomically. Therefore, the metadata locality is sacrificed. The second challenge is the high latency of pass resolution. As shown in the figure, during the metadata operation, the path resolution needs to look up all internal directories one by one. The latency of path resolution increases with the file depths due to the sequential network requests. In large-scale scenarios, the high file depths will impair the latency of metadata operations. The third challenge is the high overhead of cache coherence maintenance. As we know, all path resolutions need to traverse the directory tree from the root. This causes the near root directories to be read heavily, even for, re for balanced workload. We call this the near root hotspots. To solve the near root hotspots, distributed file systems often cache metadata on the client side to absorb the lookup requests. As shown in the figure, each client will cache the directory metadata locally. While well, a client wants to rename directory A to be the children of B, it has to invalidate stale cache entries on all associated clients. In large scale scenarios, due to the huge number of clients, such cache invalidation is very consuming. Next, I will introduce the design of InfiniFS. InfiniFS is an efficient metadata service for large-scale distributed file systems. 
the right figure shows its architecture, which consists of clients, metadata servers, and a central rename coordinator. Clients traverse the directory tree in parallel via the speculative patch resolution. They also use the optimistic metadata cache to avoid the near root hotspots. The directory tree is distributed across metadata servers via the access content decoupled partitioning method. A central rename coordinator is used to check concurrent directory renames to prevent the data loss. Next, I will describe the key designs of InfiniFS, each of which addresses a challenge mentioned before. We propose an access content decoupled partitioning method. The key idea is to decouple the directory metadata into two independent parts, access and content, as shown in the right figure. Each directory is decoupled into two metadata objects. The access metadata contains the directory name, ID, and the permissions. These metadata objects are used to access the directory tree. The content metadata contains the array of directory entries and the time steps. These metadata objects are related to the children within the directory. Based on the decoupling, we group related metadata onto the same server to achieve high locality. Specifically, we group each directory's access metadata with its parent, content metadata with its children. As shown in the figure, the content metadata of directory B is grouped with the file metadata within the directory. The access metadata of directory B and C is grouped with the content metadata of their parent. After the, after the grouping, we split the directory tree into independent pro-directory groups for later partitioning. Finally, in order to achieve good load balancing, we hashing these fine grinded metadata groups onto different metadata servers. By decoupling the extent and the content metadata, the directory tree can be partitioned on fine grain for good load balancing, while still have high metadata locality for common operations, such as the file create, delete, and the directory read DRR operations. Here we use an example to show the metadata locality. As shown in the figure, while client creates a file on the directory B, it first allows the directory to serialize with other operations. Then it inserts the new file's metadata. Then it updates the entries and time steps of the directory. Throughout the file creation, only one single metadata server is involved. To reduce the latency of metadata operations, we design the speculative personal solution. The key idea is to break predict the directory IDs and parallelize the lookup requests during the password resolution. As shown in the figure, the naive password resolution will look up each internal directory one by one, causing high latency. The speculative password resolution will first predict the IDs of all internal directories. Then, it sends lookup requests in parallel, which significantly reduce the latency. We use the predictable ID for each directory so that the clients can speculate on directory IDs during pass resolution. When creating a directory, a predictable, a predictable ID is generated by hashing the ID of the parent, the directory name, and the version number. The version number is zero by default unless the ID collision is detected. For example, as shown in the figure, the ID of the root is one. When create a directory A, we generate its ID by hashing one, A, and zero. Then during the password resolution, clients can predict the ID of A by recalculating the hash function. After predicting the directory IDs, clients can launch lookup requests to all internal directories in parallel. Here we use an example to illustrate the process. The right figure shows a path in the directory tree and the related access metadata of each directory is shown in the table. The ID of the root is known by default, which is one. When we resolve this path, the client first predicts the IDs of all internal directories by recalculating the hash functions with zero as the version number. 
Then the client sends lookup requests to all internal directories in parallel. Each lookup will first check the permissions, then verify whether the predicted ID match the true ID in the storage. As we see, the third lookup request finds that the predicted ID of X is wrong. Then it will return the true ID of X to the client. With the true ID of X, the client can continue to resolve the same pass on the directory X by repeating step one and step two. To reduce the overhead of cache coherence maintenance, we introduce the optimistic access value cache. The key idea is to validate the cache staleness lazily on the meta servers. While a directory rename operation happens, we send the rename information to all meta servers. Clients are ignorant about the cache staleness and optimistically use cache entries for pass resolution. While client sends a meta request to the server, before processing the request, the server will first validate the cache staleness using the rename information. If the server finds that the client used the stale cache entries, it will abort the request and return the information to update the client-side cache. Next, we show some experimental results of our work. The evaluation is performed on 32 server nodes and 32 client nodes with the same hardware configuration. We increase the size of the directory tree up to 100 billion files. Distributed file systems are deployed on RAM disks to focus on the performance of different MetaNAS designs. We compare InfiniFS with the state-of-the-art systems such as LocalFS, HoxFS, IndexFS, and SafeFS. MD test benchmark is used to evaluate the MetaNAS performance and all files are created with a zero lens. We first report the scalability of InfiniFS. The evaluation initiated 2,000 clients to access a shared directory tree. The figure shows the throughput of metadata operations with varying the number of servers. From the figure, we can observe that metadata operations in InfiniFS scales well with 32 servers. The directory MACDR and the file create operations of InfiniFS are 18 times and four times higher than local FS. Therefore, we can say InfiniFS outperforms the state of the art systems. We then report how the design features contribute to the overall performance. We accumulate the design features into the best line and measure the latency and throughput of metadata operations. The latency is further decomposed into two parts for passive resolution and metadata processing. In the figure, the bars shows the latency and the lines shows the throughput. We can observe that the speculative passive resolution can significantly reduce the latency by 74%. The optimistic meta cache boosts the throughput to more than 1 million operations per second. By decoupling the access and the content metadata, we further reduce the latency of metadata processing in file create operations. It also boosts the throughput of file create to 3.3 million operations per second. To sum up, the key design of InfiniFS effectively reduced the latency and improved the throughput of metadata operations. Finally, I will give a brief conclusion. In large-scale distributed file systems, the metadata service is inefficient due to the huge number of files. In this work, we propose InfiniFS, an efficient metadata service for large-scale distributed file systems. It includes three key techniques. Evaluation shows InfiniFS outperforms state-of-the-art systems and the de key designs of InfiniFS effectively improve the latency and the throughput of metadata operations. Thank you for listening.